Welcome to Carrie's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. This Avaya Kaftan is what we're going to learn in this tutorial and we'll be using three yards of Ankara fabric. One good thing is you can go ahead to use a plain material with wonderful stones and it will come out stunning. Very good, we have both the cutting and the sewing in this tutorial, so I expect you to make yours entire Karis creation so I can see the outcome of your beautiful Abaya kaftan. We don't need plenty of measurements, you know now. We only need the length and the sleeve length measured from the middle back and that's all. So let's move to the cutting table. <laughs> I'll be using Ankara fabric in this tutorial. You can go ahead to use a plain or patterned material. Chevron Lapra will be fine. And my Ankara width is 45 inches. Ankara is always by 45. So this is the 45 inches. I'm fine with this. Or you better still, you can take your measurement from the middle back to wherever you want um, the width to stop on your hand. You can use that as the width measurement. Now, the length of my caftan is 49 inches. I had an extra one inch, so I have 50 inches, which I'm going to use to fold the base. Like I said, the width here is what I'm okay with. So the length of 50 now, I doubled that. So this is folded into two. As you can see, it's folded like this into two so that we can have the front and the back with the length of 50 inches again i'm going to fold so i'm folding into four so i'm going to fold into two again i folded into two so it means this is the middle right from here and this is where the sleeve is going to stop what i'll just do from here is as simple as I'm going to notch this middle part and I'm also going to notch this part of my Ankara. Now I'm going to unfold. I'll unfold. I'll also unfold. So that now I'm going to fold this way into two bringing the notched part to align just like this automatically it's more like we have the front to this to the left hand side and the back to the right hand side so now i'm going to fold this way just like this Now what we have here is, this is more like this is the front folded into two and this is the back folded into two. But here I have no joining. It has no cuts on the shoulder part of my dress as you can see. This is the notched part which is the middle and the notched part which is going to fall to the sleeve of my dress. Now. From here, we're going to bring out the neck design. I'm trying to use this part of the Ankara so you could see the chalk. And I'll be bringing out the width of 2.5 inches. And the front depth, I'll be taking 3.5 inches. Now I'm going to cut this out. It's, like, um, it's going to be a round shape. Now what I'll be cutting out is just the front alone. I'll just notch and I'll cut out the front alone. From my notched parts, I'm going to take the depth of 0 0.5 inch. That is not up to 1 inch. 0 0.5 inch and I'm going to cut it out as well.
Now from here, I'm going to slit the front. You can take it from the base. Now I'm going to slit the front. Now, the depth of 7 inches is what I'll be taking. This can be brought down to 8, 9, 10, 11, depending on how deep you want this or how open you want this. So that from my neck design, I can easily carve it out just like a V shape. Just like this. Then I'll go on with the straight part of um, my Ankara fabric just like this so like I said you can still bring this down in case you still want it to go deeper than this now this is what I have here and all we need to do is to cut out a strip, a strip of fabric to be joined to the front part of our dress now this part of the neck like I said you can increase the length from seven inches and as well the width here can still be brought in if you want it to still go in than what we have here like something like like this so depending on how you want it to go in and the depth as well now the strip of fabric we're going to cut is going to be in form of a band and to take the measurements we're going to measure from the base we're going to take the measurements each just like this so from what i have you need to take it around so what i did here is just like this so that i'm going to double it like this is into two and we need to take it one by one just like this so i just still you can leave it the way it is doubled so that you multiply whatever you want to cut so just like this is how you're going to take the measurements. So you have to follow the shape of the neck. You just go around and what I have here is 54 inches. So my 54 inches now means I'm going to take my 54 inches just like this. This is my 54 inches. But to be on the saver side, it's better to add extra inch. So I have 55 inches. Now, I said we are going to double this because I doubled the measurement when I was taking my measurement. So I, I'm going to double it now. So that the excess fabric, I'm going to cut it out. So we are going to cut out the excess fabric now the width of my fabric here is just two inches two inches while folded so that when you unfold we have four inches as you can see so i'm going to uh, move to the machine we're going to continue this so i can show you how to join and if this is your first time on our channel kindly click the subscribe button click the bell as well to get notified each time we upload a new video so this is how i'm going to be joining my um band the band to the dress and i'm also going to show you the side so let's move to the machine now we have the front which is the middle middle front the middle back and this is the side I want to um, curve the side a bit, which is this part, and this is just um, my just my decision. You can leave it straight, and you can curve it out as well. No standard measurements for this. You can just go ahead and do whatever you like, either straight or curve. Now the first thing I'll be doing is to join
excuse me. This is the side. This is the side and I'm going to start my joining from 9 inches. Now the 9 inches serves as the weight as my round sleeve measurements sells as my round sleeve measurements but more than my round sleeve measurement divided by two so you can still increase this nine nine point five or ten inches is fine for um whoever you want to sew for so this is my seam allowance here is just like 0 0.5 inch so that's what i'll take from this point to the base sorry At the base, I'm leaving a um, little space of about about eight inches from the cut edge like eight inches you can still go ahead to close it to the very end you can just do whatever you like this is going to have a bit of slit by the side and i can decide to close it all up now whatever i've done here i'm still going to repeat the same to the other side but before then i'm going to fold in the remaining allowance i have here I'm going to fold it in so I'm going to start like this so to fold in the the round sleeve that's the opening for my round sleeve I'm going to separate the fabric so I don't sew on the other material and I'm going to fold it in just like this The 0 0.5 seam allowance that I used to join the side is still the same measurement I took around. I'm going to show you how it's going to look like. Now, this is the seam allowance of 0 0.5 that joined in from the side. And I still maintain that I just fold it like this round. And I made sure I do not have any fabric underneath so I don't sew on it. So that is how it is. I'm going to repeat the same on the other side. So after joining, this is what it looks like. Whatever you have done on the right side, just repeat the same on the other side of the dress. Now we move to attaching the band. To do that, we need to first notch the middle. I was just going to start the joining from the middle. So just notch. And the band as well, we need to get the middle. So just fold into two. So I'm going to notch the both sides like this and like this. Then I'm going to fold into two. Bringing the notched parts together. I'll make sure that the notch parts on the band and that of the dress aligns just like this. So this is my band folded into two. 
and this is my dress bringing the notched parts to align and I'm going to start my joining from the middle So the base is what we are going to fold and it's going to be the last thing. I'm still going to weave this part iron as well to make it come out very nice and don't forget to like, click the share button so others to learn from this. And if you're watching this channel for the first time, kindly subscribe and click the bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. I guess we've come to the end of this tutorial you can leave your comments in the comment section so I see you next class bye